Hey guys, I am excited to talk to you today about choosing your challenges or your challenges are going to choose you. So I heard about this last year at the beginning of last year. And at first, when I heard it, I genuinely thought that I already had so much going on that I thought if I added to those challenges, there's, there's no way this is going to work. There's no way that this is going to help me because I just thought it was going to add more struggles and more challenges onto what I was already dealing with. And so when I, when I worked at this and I like went after it thinking, okay, all right, I'm going to try this, right? What do I, I'm, I'm going to try it. And if it just gets too much, then I'll quit. But what it actually turned into, it turned into a year of picking hard things and going after the things that I wanted to go after. And the interesting thing was what I found is that during that year, instead of just random hard things showing up, it was like those went away and the things that I chose, the challenges that I chose, that's how you create the life that you want. That's how people get these lives that they love because they're not just waiting around for these challenges to show up. They're actively going after a challenge, but they want that result. Okay. So when I first heard this, I thought it was a crazy idea, like I said, but when I first started it, I immediately started doing hard things that I'd always wanted to do. And it kind of quickly turned into this, what do I want and what, what do I want? And what sounds like, what is the awful way to get it? If that, may, <laughs> that makes any sense. And I know that sounds crazy, but for instance, I, I wanted to, I've always wanted a homestead. I've always wanted like these chickens running around. And so I bought chickens, but what did that turn into? Then it turned into, now we got to keep them alive. Now we got to keep them away from predators. And as somebody who struggled fighting their brain, just to like, take care of themselves, this idea that now something constantly relied on me and that wasn't a normal thing. It was, it was adding onto my plate, but the interesting thing was that the more that became the reality, now I get the benefits that I want. I get these, I get the eggs, I get the cutest chickens and the cutest animals running around. But the reality is that's what I chose. The interesting thing is I, I would wait around the majority of my life. I would just wait around because I just was trying to stop the challenges, stop the struggle, get off the struggle bus. And it just wouldn't stop. It just felt like it wouldn't end. The interesting thing was, is now that I shifted my mindset to, okay, the struggles and the challenges aren't going to end. They're not going to end. But if you switch them to what you want, I get it. Nobody wants the struggle. Nobody wants the challenge. But if you change it to, okay, at the end of the struggle, I will get this result. I will get this action happening in my life. I'll get this thing in my life. Now the struggle and the challenge was actually worth it. It was actually something that I didn't mind going through because I got what I wanted out of it. When I was just waiting around, these struggles would happen. Okay. Maybe I grew and maybe I learned something, but it wasn't something I was that passionate about. It wasn't something that I was that excited about that. It was like, okay, I learned this about myself or I, okay, now I know how to do this thing. And it was like, yay, that's cool. But at the same time, I was like, I don't really care. But when I started changing it to going after the challenges I wanted now, 
I actually enjoyed the journey. I had listened and heard forever how you hear that saying, enjoy, you know, enjoy the journey. You know, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. I could never grasp that. I could never understand what people were talking about. I could never comprehend how they were enjoying these hard things in life. And people were like, oh, I love the struggle. Oh, I love it when hard things show up. Couldn't understand that. After choosing my challenges, instead of letting my challenges choose me, I totally get it. I totally get it. Now, let me kind of go through the steps with you on what happens. First of all, you have this great idea. If you're like me, you have this great idea and you're like, I'm in, I'm going to do it. This is awesome. And then the excitement wears off. (laughs) And to be honest, it was not fun. The reality of now you have to go after these struggles. The thing was, is I thought, I thought I was going to enjoy it because it was something that I wanted. Nope. Mm -mm. At first I didn't enjoy it. So that's kind of step one. Or the, well, step one is you think you're going to enjoy it, or you think you're excited about this idea. Then step two is you really realize it's a struggle and it's a challenge and it's not the funnest idea, mainly because I found that I was also still dealing with stuff that had come into my life when I wasn't choosing my challenges. So I'm still kind of cleaning up the mess of when I was just being tossed and turned and not really having a direction. So you kind of have to do this cleanup, but then is what I noticed is at some point you're going to get a result from that challenge and that result, you're going to have this eye-opening experience. At least I did where I thought I went through a challenge and I got an amazing result. And I liked that result. And that challenge was worth the result I got. And then if you keep doing this, eventually it it didn't take me very long, but eventually now I've gotten to a point where I am actively seeking challenges that I want because I see it getting me closer and closer and closer to the life I want to create. So at first I may have picked something that it was kind of a test. And now I'm going, okay, okay. What, what can I get bigger? What can I make better? What are even harder challenges? Because that'll give me an even bigger result. And now my life starting the beginning of 2022 and the ending of 2022. And now we're beginning 2023 is a huge difference because now I'm looking at the end of this year as I can actually see what I want it to look like because I understand the process and I never understood the process before. So I really hope you guys can really grasp onto this concept of choose your challenge rather than having your challenges choose you because it is the best thing I have ever done. It's not easy at first. And I grasp that concept. I grasp that it's not a fun thing to think about because you're probably, if you're fighting your head, you're probably already dealing with a whole lot that's going on. But the second you start choosing your challenges, those ones start whittling away and going away because you're actively going after the things that you want to go that you don't even have time. They just don't even show up. And I'm not saying that never, they'll never show up because there are hard things in life. There's, there's deaths, there's, you know, things that we don't quite plan on that can be really hard. But once you get past those things, those things are for a short period of time, or they should be, they should be for a short period of time. And once you get past those, now you just get right back on to choosing your challenges. Okay. What does life look like after that 
really hard experience. All right, now what do you want it to look like? Anyways, I trust that this information was helpful. And, um, you know, as always, subscribe, hit the notification button if you guys want to be notified of when the next um, podcast or um, video is going to be up. So love you guys. See ya.